It's forty years after the downfall of modern civilization. Humanity is nothing but a few scattered communities growing and guarding whatever little is left of the world's resources. Before, humans could do whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. They exploited and used every bit of the bounty the planet had to offer, and created empires that circled the globe, creating a world with eight billion human beings, over one hundred thousand square miles of cities, thousands of acres of farmland, and hundreds of thousands of factories. But the planet was suffering. Acres of forests were disappearing. The oceans were being emptied and polluted, and the air was thick with smog. What used to be a beautiful planet was slowly turning into a decaying rock. But then something happened. No one knows exactly how, or when, or what caused it to happen. But the system that fed and provided for so many people collapsed, leaving billions in the wake of an oncoming disaster. In the first few years, millions died of famine, disease, or killed in the fight for survival. Those who survived spent the rest of the remainder of their lives learning the skills they had once lost in the modern world and guarding what little they had. That's where you come in. You are a member of an ag agricultural community in the outskirts of the ruins of a large city. Your community is a small and defenseless one that makes its livelihood off of growing and trading food. But lately your community has heard rumours of a band of mortarers that has taken to themselves to raid and pillage any village that has anything of value. Your community fears that it, it may be next and wishes to protect itself. The elders have decided that the only way to fend off the band of mortarers is to find a set of extremely powerful relics hidden in the in the place only known by the name Wapantamwa. According to the many traders who travel near the community there are five relics. The Apple of Immortality a fruit that heals any and all wounds, the armor of invulnerability, a set of armor that protects the user from any and all damage, the book of wisdom, an ancient tome full of the collective knowledge of the world, the crown of allure, the crown that, rem that renders the user complete leader of any and all people, and finally the sword of destiny, an incredibly powerful weapon that renders all enemies into a bloody heap but the traders always warn of the land of Wapantamwa. According to their accounts, Wapantamwa is a thick and impenetrable wilderness, impenetrable wilderness, kept pristine throughout all the horrors of history. They admit that the land of Wapantamwa is a beautiful, serene place with beautiful glades of forests and trees that seem to go on for miles, clean, calming rivers and streams and the area is thick with the wildlife. But as always, they then go on to vivid detail to describe the horrible incidents that happen to anyone who ventures inside for too long, and count off the number of people that have been eaten, maimed, or simply disappeared inside. Despite this, your community realizes that even at the slim chance that if that they find this land, they cannot simply lay down and die. So the community organizes a band of scouts, you included, to seek out Wapantamwa and the five relics. You fear for your life and the life of your friends and family, but no, you must continue on if you wish to protect them.